Hey, Ivan from the EV Stock Channel here, and today we're comparing Q4 deliveries from Tesla, Ford, General Motors, Toyota, and Honda. But before we begin, thank you to all the Patreons that support the show, and as always, none of this content is financial advice, and while I try my best, I cannot guarantee the accuracy of the data I use in this video. So with that said, let's get started, and in this video, I want to compare how Tesla and Legacy Auto have done in terms of sales in the fourth quarter of 2021 and also examine how 2021 compares to previous years, especially 2020 and 2019. And the reason for this is 2019 for the most part was a normal year. 2020 on the other hand was the year of the pandemic and also the year that most auto manufacturers had to shut down factories for extended periods of time. And then 2021 was the year of the semiconductor chip shortage. Also to note, in this video I'll be using Tesla's global production numbers. As for all other auto manufacturers, I'll be using their US sales data. And while that's not a perfect scenario, it's the only data that I've been able to come across that I still believe gives us an excellent insight into the trends of who's doing well and who's not. So with that said, let's get straight into it. Starting off with Tesla, which reported a quarterly record high global delivery number of 308,600. This number was super impressive and even beat out the most bullish Tesla analysts' predictions. And just to get a sense for how impressive this number for Tesla was, consider this. Q4 of 2021 was a 27.9% increase from the previous quarter, Q3, and up 70.9% from Q4 of 2020, not to mention up 175% from Q4 of 2019. So when it comes to Tesla, they are growing deliveries quarter by quarter. They have now achieved six record quarters in a row, showing no slowdown from either chip shortages or any other supply constraints. Next, let's switch to yearly deliveries, where Tesla delivered 936,000 vehicles in 2021 Again, that's up 87% from 2020 and 154% up since 2019. So while Tesla is powering ahead, let's now switch over to Legacy Auto and see how they're doing, starting with Ford. And keep in mind, from now on we'll be looking at sales from the United States, where Ford has experienced declining sales in both 2020 and then again in 2021, selling only 1.87 million vehicles, which is down half a million from 2019. When we look at quarterly sales, Q4 has been a slight improvement over Q3, but when looking back to Q4 of 2020 and 2019, Ford sales are significantly down. Although Ford has been making announcements that they're going to be building battery factories and they plan to fast track the production of the Ford Lightning. However, this will still take some significant time to achieve. So, so Jim, I want to talk about your friendly rivalry, at least on Twitter, with Mr. Elon Musk. I saw that you congratulated him. You're very gracious to congratulate him for being named Times Man of the Year, even though you got Motor Trend Man of the Year. Uh, and you said you really set an example for us. Can you catch up and beat Tesla? Well, the first inning of this nine inning game is for us to get to 600,000. We think that'll put us in number two. And then with Tennessee and Kentucky, you know, we really have a chance to, to get to number one. It, it'll depend on the acceptance of those models. You know, that, that's a couple years away. Um, so it really, it really is on us to execute the products for them to be received as our first three have, and then to scale. A lot of uncertainty, but I wouldn't bet against a Ford team. Uh, I, I really admire Tesla and Elon for what they've done. Uh, and, and it's clearly showed that an always-on relationship with the customer is where this, where this industry is going. Not just propulsion going electric, but actually having a digital relationship with the customer. And um, I'm very thankful for that. But, you know, we're competitors, and I race, and second is the first loser. So, you know, we're going we're gonna to go for it, and, um, but we'll see how it goes. It, it'll be a, a couple of years away. Moving on to GM's U.S. sales numbers. And we can see a similar pattern, and unlike Ford, that experienced a half a million vehicle sales decline since 2019, GM sales have declined 670,000 vehicles over that same time period. Also to add, when looking at quarterly sales, 
GM's Q4 sales numbers did not recover from Q3, which was a weak number at the time, so it'll be interesting to see how they perform in Q1 this year. Next up, Toyota. And here we can see a slightly different pattern, where Toyota experienced a half a million vehicle sales decline in 2020 from 2019. But unlike Ford and GM, in 2021, they seem to have recovered back to the 2019 levels. And if we look at their quarterly numbers, we can see that Q4 was down substantially over the same quarter in both 2020 and 2019. However, these numbers were still good enough for Toyota to beat out General Motors as the top-selling brand in the United States in 2021. I mean, this was the first time since 1931 that an auto manufacturer other than GM had taken the top spot. I want to show a chart of General Motors and Toyota comparing the two stocks and how they performed in the last year. And why are we doing this? The sales numbers for GM for all of last year came in at 2.2 million. For Toyota, came in at 2.3 million. Now, this was expected as we headed into the end of the year. So it's not a surprise that Toyota has outsold General Motors for the first time ever here in the United States. But it is significant. Uh, now, it'll be interesting to see what happens, guys, when we get to a more normal market where you have a normal chip supply and you have... None of, the, none of the strange things that we've seen in the last year to see exactly what the market share uh, comes out to be. But again, Toyota outselling General Motors for the first time ever uh, for a full year here in the United States. Moving on to the final auto manufacturer that I'm going to be looking at, which is Honda. Their US sales are pretty similar to that of Toyota, in which 2020 there was a significant dip, while in 2021 they somewhat recovered. Although, when we switch the quarterly numbers, their Q4 results were the lowest in the last three years. Which makes me wonder, is this due to the ongoing chip shortage or declining demand? So, something to keep an eye on when we redo this episode for Q1 of 2022. So, in summary, let's wrap up by looking at Q4 of 2021 versus Q4 of 2020. Tesla are up 70% with no signs of slowing down. Meanwhile, it has been a pretty brutal quarter for Legacy Auto, with GM sales dropping 42.8%, while Honda sales fell 21%, Toyota 16.4%, and Ford sales only dropped 5.6%, but outsold everyone else in the United States in the quarter. Finally, when we compare 2021 to 2020, again we can see that Tesla increased sales by a whopping 87.4%, while GM was down 13%, Ford was down 8%. Toyota and Honda had somewhat of a bounce back year with Honda up 9% and Toyota up 26.8% for the year. And again, it's interesting to see how in 2020, GM beat out Toyota by about 700,000 vehicles in sales, and in 2021, Toyota was able to jump both Ford and GM to take top spot in the United States. So how are these auto manufacturers going to fare in Q1 of 2022? I guess we'll have to wait and see, and I look forward to bringing that episode to you once the numbers come out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this update on how Tesla and Legacy Auto compare from one quarter and year to the next. Also, stay tuned for Tesla's global sales from both Europe and China coming up in the next episode. So till then, have a great day.